Oh yeah. Guys, I haven't really just had an arm day in a while. And I was looking at my arms this week and I was like, they're kind of looking puny. They're kind of looking small. I need to get back on this arm train. Growing up, I honestly trained arms in my room three to four times a week. And it wasn't like insane training because all I had was a pair of 35 pound dumbbells. So I would do what I could with 35 pound dumbbells. But the reason I like dumbbells is because you have a lot more control over dumbbell, the movement, eccentric, the stretch. So today we're gonna be doing a dumbbells only arm workout. We're gonna superset biceps and triceps. And again, we're gonna focus on peak contraction, the stretch. We're also gonna be focusing on the eccentric part on, on a lift. We're gonna pick four movements for each thing. Again, all gonna be dumbbell. And each one of them is gonna be focused on one of those things. First superset, we're gonna be really focused on the eccentric part. And that's the downward phase of it. So that's eccentric, concentric. You know, when you talk about eccentrics on the way down, concentrics on the way up. So time under tension is important. Obviously mechanical tension, when we're talking about building muscle, we're talking about breaking down muscle, all of these things come into play. It's my excuse not to foam roll, is to get on this and just work out the muscle here. So we're gonna be jumping into it, getting heavy on the first exercise, and then focusing on the stretch on the second exercise, both for biceps and triceps. So really gonna be a great pump, because as you can get a good stretch, we're forcing tons of blood into that muscle. So good mind-muscle connection as well today. We're gonna really focus in on those things and show you guys just how to build bigger biceps and triceps using dumbbells only. Let's jump into it. All right guys, so for the first superset, we're gonna be doing dumbbell curls with a dumbbell skull crushers. Now, we're gonna be supersetting these, taking a minute off after the superset. So dumbbell curls, straight into skull crushers, then a minute rest before jumping back into curls. The reason I like supersetting biceps and triceps, obviously we're forcing tons of blood in there. And as I work one of them, I'm stretching the other. So as my bicep flexing come up, triceps full stretch and then vice versa. Coming back all the way down, contracting my tricep, biceps in full stretch. So, gonna get a tons of blood in there. This first superset, we're really gonna be focusing on that eccentric part, and that's gonna just tear those muscle fibers down. I'm really focusing on time under tension, which means we're not gonna go as high with reps, because again, time under tension, we hit six reps here with a three second eccentric, that's a lot of time under tension. So usually when we do slower eccentric reps, we're gonna bring down the reps. You know, it'd be pointless to do 18 reps all slow. That's a lot of time under tension. That's enough time under tension that we really wouldn't do anything else in that workout. So we're gonna be jumping into this, need to warm up properly, two warm up sets, and then we're jumping into our two working supersets. All right, time to jump into the working sets. I'm gonna be doing these two arm at a time, and then I'm actually gonna be throwing in a Zotman curl in there. So that eccentric portion is gonna be really important. We're also gonna be working some forearms in there. As we come up, pinky, turning it out. We're not doing neutral grip, we're not doing hammer curls. Squeezing, I mean, bicep activation just in rotating, just in rotating your wrist, screwing in a light bulb. We always say it. You can get a bicep pump screwing in a light bulb. So really focus as we come up, we're also turning out. Then we're gonna rotate three seconds on that eccentric back into it. For these working sets, you're only doing six reps. That isn't a ton of work, but combined with all that time under tension, you're definitely gonna be getting a great workout. Then jumping into our skull crusher. Skull crushers we're doing at a slight incline. I like it because I get a better stretch. From here, I don't get quite that stretch here, so I like throwing it on just a slight, slight incline. We're not at a 45 degree angle here. We're gonna be really focusing on, if this is straight overhead, we're gonna hold those dumbbells with a neutral grip position, keeping the elbows close to our ears, slowly lowering it down with that eccentric of three seconds and coming back up and at the top, rotating out. It's gonna help with that tricep at the top, that that peak contraction, boom, back down. Everything we're doing today, focusing on stretch. This first one, we're focusing on eccentric time under tension, and then also peak contraction. That's gonna be mind, muscle, and then the last thing we're gonna be doing is really gonna be focusing on that pump, driving as much blood into that muscle. These are all the things that go into just a great arm workout. It's gonna get you bigger. That's going to, I mean, if you're eating right, it's gonna get you bigger, it's gonna get you stronger, and ultimately, better set of arms. Doing two sets on everything. Because we're doing four exercises, 
We're just doing two for each. Still gonna give us a total of eight working sets for biceps, eight working sets for triceps today. It's gonna be more than enough volume. Next superset, we're gonna be doing triceps first because it's only fair. You don't only give love to your biceps more than your triceps by always choosing them first in the exercise, so switch it up. Um, really, this is gonna be focusing on that stretch. So without any weight, I'm just gonna be showing you guys a uh, bench dip. So I'm gonna be putting a dumbbell on my lap. Now, if you don't need a dumbbell, just do these with your feet up. Modification then would be the feet here and then scoot it closer to make it easier. So this is gonna be the hardest variation of weight. We're gonna come down, we wanna hit 90 degrees. That's that stretch back up going for eight to ten reps on this one failing someplace in between there so eight to ten reps on here eccentric is just gonna be normal it's really just focusing on that stretch so making sure you hit at least 90 degrees then all the way up to the top nice stretch nice peak contraction there from there we're just gonna be throwing this bench on an incline really again focusing on that stretch with an incline dumbbell curl eight to ten reps back and forth one minute rest after you complete the superset Biggest thing with this one, start from this position, all the way down, all the way up. It's gonna be easy on this one to wanna stop here, all the way down. All right, next up, Back to biceps. If you guys were wondering, yes, biceps and then tricep, bicep. We're gonna be doing a preacher curl. Love the preacher curl, especially single arm. It's gonna allow us to get a really good, really good stretch at the bottom of that movement. Again, we don't wanna short change this. this. We're gonna wanna go all the way down, all the way up. We're gonna be here, curling back here. We got 10 reps. Normal tempo on this, just make sure you squeeze at the top. From there, we're supersetting it with a French press. So you can either do these with a single dumbbell. I still like doing them with two separate dumbbells because it makes sure that I'm working each arm rather than letting one take over. Obviously, you're gonna be weakest at that bottom movement. That's where our lever is gonna be furthest away from our body. So this is an area you're gonna feel a lot of tension, especially on that lower bicep. As we come up and we squeeze, it's right a lot more at the top. But here, you can feel the amount of tension on that lower third of that bicep there. Now obviously this is gonna be working the entire bicep as we bring the weight up, but a lot of tension there at the bottom. Biggest thing here, again, working each arm individually instead of using one dumbbell. Good stretch, this one's such a great stretch at the top rotating those wrists. About halfway through that set, I realized this is too light to fail in that eight to 10 rep range. So what I do, I slow down each rep. More time under tension makes it harder. Means that I'm gonna fail at 10 rather than 12 or 13. Slow down those reps if you happen to grab too light a weight. supersets down one more superset to go one each of bicep and tricep by now oh yeah can't touch the shoulders so we know it's a good pump now we're gonna make it a great pump ready for it last exercise best exercise for bicep and tricep let's go last superset one of my favorites concentration curls spider curl whatever you want to call these here big focus is peak contraction no swinging starting straight down shoulders elbow wrist all in one motion from there, we're just curling up as high as we can, squeezing for half a second, back down. Um, what we're gonna be doing on this, failing in that eight to 10 rep range, and then drop set, drop set. So 
essentially it's three sets, but just going through it once, drop, drop, same thing for tricep kickbacks with dumbbells. Everything today done with dumbbells. So if you have a set at home, you can even change up the reps um, in order to make all this work. If you only have one set, like I used to do back in the day in my bedroom during high school. That's if you want big arms, consistency, frequency, and staying on top of it. These are my favorite exercises, and we're pretty much covered almost all, all angles with these dumbbells, but have fun with it. Try, you know, hammer curls, try across the body hammer curls, try spider curls, you know, try on lying down, standing up, dumbbells extensions, like try everything, figure out what works for you, and then stick with it. I'm getting a pump just sitting here. Pretty much ready to get my blood drawn right now. So that's why I love this one, because it's almost like BFR, as this presses into your arm, it's cutting off. So it's almost like blood flow restriction without the band. This is the closest thing you can do without a band to BFR training. So we're gonna jump into that. Drop set, drop set, tricep, drop set, drop set. arm session especially for not getting an arm session in solely an arm session in for a long time so this is kind of my go-to when I need to get back into it I need to get the pipes back up to 19 so I make sure they're bigger than Jake's we got one more set we're gonna film it for Instagram if you guys don't follow me on Instagram I dare you to right now if you're not if you're one of those people too that watch the videos and you're not subscribed Maybe you could, like, maybe. If you find it in your heart to subscribe, just subscribe to the damn channel. That is it for the arm workout today. Should we do this for the thumbnail? Or like a bicep and tricep shot? Here, or like, maybe we'll do both. Split screen. I don't know, I'm really bad at thumbnails, guys. Thanks for watching this video. I'm gonna go do one for Instagram. Because if you don't put it on Instagram, did you even lift? I'm out of here.